the uh, imba imbalance of the brain, which is algorithmic processor ran by chemicals and neurons. That's not how you do that. So then I have a base layer background that holds the color, and I can add blank sheets like that. And I accidentally started over, but that's basically a new background, so I can hit uh, a shortcut and add a layer. And so now I'm one layer off. And come on. And uh, and then the other layers I can just knock out into occlusion. Of course, the mouse doesn't want to. And uh, you know I can turn the other layers on and off without having to start a new app or a new uh, page because I can just use these pages or I can use these as pages. And so then the brain works like this. Oops. In these layers. Oops. Oh, come on. Like an accordion where these could be like rungs of time and, and, and kind of reset points in, or points in, in your life. And from those, new ones can be formatted. And so each one of these would be like a background layer where you can kind of turn on and off the original layer and see this, this background layer up at layer four, then I made a new one, it blocks out the original. So that's why I was like, I didn't want to make a new one. That's kind of what's been going on in history. They've been adding new background layers in and starting over from there from like a fresh start. But these all still exist. All you have to do is go back and check off or, you know, uh, open up or block out, excuse me, uh, whatever layer selectively. And so then from those, different layers have been created. And these came to different conclusions, if you will, or different civilizations. And so the brain is like that with different kind of ages in your life, where as time goes on, you can get these sideways uh, occurrences where you can selectively kind of sprout new ideas. And the point is, let's see if I do it properly this time that that's all, all useful, however, and then so I actually, I'll show you how it doesn't work in terms of how it's supposed to work. Um, and so then this is useful, but now instead of, let me just do that. It's kind of hard to use the point. All right, so now I made a new layer and normally I go to that and I can just X out that layer, but I need a backdrop because this one was uh, taken out because it's overlapped. I was just using this one overlap by layer four, which I forgot to make a new one or I accidentally just, I don't know what I did. I made a mistake. And so I was like, okay, I'll, instead of having to go back and re just reselected just a simple switch, I made a new one, but now I'm forced to either go back and put this one in proper order which should be able to drag them. You may have to do something. Or in this one, you can't. Um, or I knock that one out, and then this was deactivated, so I could have, if I didn't know, I would have had to uh, put a new background layer in. That one's not visible. And, you know, but then basically doing that once, it creates a cascade of having to continue doing that. I can't even... Um, and so then it's kind of like creating, it's stemming time in memory and mind. And so then if I, I could do it, I could fix it one time by making a new background layer. And so now I can enable that and then I can go up here and where is it? Just draw stuff around and then make a new background layer. And first disable that and then have a new background layer, or not background, excuse me, a new foreground layer. And then to make a new drawing, which looks like that, like a sombrero octopus taco guy. And then, uh, and so on. Instead of having to go back and make a new layer, a new back, basically you make a background layer and a foreground layer each time, or you can make one background layer and then multiple foreground layers and switch them in and out. What we're in is, what happened basically is a system where the first option could have been achieved for whatever reason, it wasn't. And we have multiple background layers and multiple foreground layers, all all at parallel, in parallel, but uh, they have to be capable of coinciding. Otherwise, it will more or less collapse the whole system. 
and sure enough those won't go away so I'll just uh, bring back the first one and got two new sheets to play with and so then yeah kids figured it out the first time but uh I mean the first time is they're the closest to infinity so it must have been the infinite time for them that's why they figured it all out um, saying otherwise just puts you back at the end of the line Cause who else would say otherwise to, to you know and so then so now with the fractal field you get the heart and a little pretzel and so then you gotta bow down your head it's gonna look real weird I don't know why their neck goes like that um Maybe even kneel. You don't have to kneel, but you just got to bow down. Whatever you do, you just got to bow down. And your heart field will imprint itself into your brain field, and you'll create that. Well, it's the it's the fractal, and not the broken one, 